Today's native plant of the day is Hibiscus moschutos, also known as Rose Mallow. This is the cultivar known as Mocha Moon. Uh, the Latin name moschutos refers to a musk scent, though these flowers are really devoid of any real fragrance. The name Mocha Moon is kind of a puzzle to me because I don't see any mocha in the flower or the plant as a whole. Maybe the slightly reddish leaves are supposed to be mocha, but uh, don't really see the connection there. This is a plant we're on the fence about in terms of whether we want to keep it in the garden. Uh, we bought it last autumn when it wasn't flowering, so we haven't seen the flowers until now. Uh, very slow to come back in the spring, so uh, probably here in Michigan first show signs of life really late May, if I recall, but certainly after almost everything else has come back. Now this still does not show much growth. Uh, it looks good overall in terms of the leaf and the stems, as you can see there, do have this uh, pinkish red interest, which should stay on until the autumn, even when the leaves have gone off. Uh, but it does die back to the ground as well. It should be cut down, cut down to the ground in the spring. Uh, the reason why we're on the fence about this is because uh, the flowers have not attracted any interest from pollinators, hummingbirds, bees, anybody. Uh, if you look online you'll see that it's supposed to have that appeal, um, but if you look online you'll also find it difficult to locate photos of the flower with actual bees or pollinators or hummingbirds using it. So I have doubts about that. Uh, in nature, it grows in wet conditions. It's called the swamp mallow, another common name for it. It does adapt to garden soils, but requires considerable watering during the season. And um, my partner put a lot of watering into it during the season, and we're kind of disappointed with the results. Uh, for us, plants should have not only beauty, but also some type of value to wildlife and nature and so far we have not seen that. We have seen bees walk along the leaves but no one has gone to the flower. Flowers themselves last a day each as you can see uh, within a day they sort of wilt up. Now this one's kind of aging. This one's showing sign of, signs of some aging during around the edge but they do appear in, in succession so once one of them is finished there will be others following after it. Uh, here's a section you can see some of them are ready to open. Now this one will open first tomorrow, this one probably the next day if not tomorrow, and then there are three more. So they do have that sort of conveyor belt of flowers that will come out one after the other, but each one lasts only a day. Uh, they saw a wasp kind of approach the flower but leave. So for all these reasons, we're not sure we want to keep this in the garden. We may move it to a pot for next year and give it another shot but you can decide for yourself whether you're interested. Oh, here we have a wasp. Let's see what it does. So we're walking around the edge. Doesn't seem to be interested in the flower and it is gone. So there you have it. Uh, let me know what you think of hibiscus moschutos in the garden. Uh, this is a cultivar. Maybe the native species does better, the pure wild type, but have some doubts about that. So share your views here and uh, thanks for watching.